McGill Robotics is a unique multi-project engineering design team at McGill University in Canada. In order to participate in the 2016 European Rover Challenge, the Marshall Rover Project joined the efforts of its 70 members across its mechanical, electrical, software and science divisions to design, manufacture and test our new creation, Boomi. The mechanical division's main focus this year was maintaining modularity and ease of assembly, two features that gave us an edge in last year's competition. Once again, we will be employing a six-wheel rocker boogie drive system with independent corner wheel steering. At the same time, we realized that in order to stay ahead of the competition and meet this year's new challenges, we had to make some heavy modifications. To this end, the gear differential from last year has been upgraded to a bar differential, now with virtually no backlash. The arm has also gone through a complete redesign. Equipped with a harmonic speed reducer at its first joint, it can lift loads up to 5 kilograms with ease. Along with a compact belt and differential power transmission system, this arm can press buttons, flick switches and turn valves with a high level of precision. Modularity and reliability were key goals for the electrical division this year. As such, we've laid out the electrical box to allow easy access to critical components. Each of the power, arm, and drive subsystems are mounted to their own acrylic sheets, allowing easy swapping for testing and debugging. Boomi has two separate kill switches, allowing us to kill the rover's motors independently from the antenna and computer. Encoders mounted on the arm's joints provide smooth position control for the arm aiding the driver in the assistance and maintenance tasks. Electromagnetic brakes mounted on the arm's joints keep the arm steady when the joints aren't in use. This year, the software division tried to focus on optimizing the control interface for the user that will be driving the robot. We are using a moving LiDAR to map our environment and represent it graphically in 3D on the computer. This will help us determine which areas of the field are safe and unsafe to navigate in. Additionally, we're using the position feedback acquired on the arm to display the arm's position in R3 on the control station. This is specifically helpful for the tasks in which the arm is solicited heavily, such as the panel manipulation and the science task where we have to pick up rocks. Additionally, we went through great lengths to make sure that the microcontroller code was modular enough to accommodate for every need electrical division would have. For this, we used object-oriented programming and standardized the interface used by hardware components. This year's Rover Science has gone through many major improvements. Our new design auger is capable of drilling up to 15 centimeters into the ground. The auger is programmed to evacuate the top 15 centimeters of the soil and then proceeds to the 20 centimeters mark where it will pull up the desired soil sample to the sealed containers. We will also be collecting our rock and the surface soil sample using our antifactor, which equips the arm with a shovel and a claw. The samples are then transferred to the rover to be weighed and stored in their own sealed containers. At a signed location, five on-site science measurements will be taken. This includes altitude, humidity, pressure, temperature, and wind speed. The samples are then brought back to the command station for further evaluation, such as slow pH, tests for lipid, protein, and carbohydrates. Participating in the 2016 ERC will not only allow our team to develop technical skills and test Boomi in a simulated representative environment, but it will also allow us to continue reaching out to the international community and raising the awareness on robotics. See you next September.